Hey guys, welcome back to the bottom line in front of the YouTube channel where we travel and go on adventures and tell you all about it. We also stand in front of iconic things and run up to the camera to tell you about it. So, this is the London Eye. If you didn't know that, you must be living under a rock. Anyway, the London Eye, is it worth your time? Yes, it is. It's worth exactly 30 minutes of your time because that's how long it takes you to go around the circle because it goes at 10 inches per second. So, it's also going to cost you 35 pounds if you want to do it, if you want to wait in a regular line. And if it's a weekend or a holiday, we wouldn't recommend that. We'd recommend the Fast Pass or the fast entry rather, this is not Disney World, that'll cost you 45 pounds and it's worth the extra 10 pounds to save that like hour of time unless you literally have nothing else to do. So, gosh, I always forget my lines. We totally recommend it. It's just an iconic way to see London. You get really good views and yeah, it's it's owned by Coca-Cola or something. It's called the Coca-Cola London Eye. Coca-Cola's not even British, but go do it. If we had three thumbs, we'd give it three thumbs up. Three. crowded near the eye but I was fortunate enough to be able to find a food truck that wasn't too crowded and got a donut and a coffee. So I'm happy. I'm going to be caffeinated. London is a super touristy city. There's a lot of people here. We're here on a weekend unfortunately. You don't want to wait in line for hours upon hours, so we recommend getting a fast pass. It's only 10 pounds more than the regular ticket, which I think was like 35 pounds. The lines looked really big for those people that had to wait for us. We got on within like 10-15 minutes, so I think that's worth the extra money. Open your eyes, what can you see around? Wind of the open sky, over the side. They built it, they actually built it on barges, or they brought in the parts, barges down the river, assembled it on a big circle on the river, and then they slowly like pulled it up to the position it's in, like one degree or two degrees, or three degrees, very, very not many degrees, very few degrees per hour to actually get it in this position. Um, 400 and something feet, rotates at 10 inches per second. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They don't really put too many people in the capsules, so you're not gonna be super crowded. There's plenty of room to move around and see all the sights, which we enjoyed. Thirty minutes it takes like half an hour, which is completely fine. It's really chill, enjoyable. You get really cool sights. It's not like you want to go faster, but once you get off, your regular ticket will get you into like a 4D film. Go that way, jump into the ticket office. That's where the film is. We're not going to go see it. We're not here to see like a 4D film. But if it's especially hot, which is rare in London, or it's really windy and cold and just uncomfortable or raining, that happens a lot. And it's perfect to get off and go straight in there and check out your complimentary 4D film. I liked the eye because you could see everything. Quick pro tip for you. If you have a large group of friends that are doing this thing or you can just kind of finagle your way into different pods on the on the eye, there's a point, whether the pod behind you or before you, you're gonna have a view looking directly at each other at the very top of London, which is really cool. We saw like, man, it'd be cool if we knew someone over there taking a picture of us with like the bridge and Big Ben and stuff. Um, but we did see a girl taking pictures of us, so we made like faces and we took pictures of her and we got down, we exchanged. So what I would do is coordinate that ahead of time, like, hey, we're all gonna pose we get with the bridge behind us and Big Ben, will you please take a photo of us and we'll do the same for you and you can exchange photos. Forward thinking, very high fashion and they've covered it in tulle. You know tulle, the very thin fabric that women wear? It's high fashion. I like it, it's progressive, forward thinking, uh, very bold, you know, to just do away with the old modern architecture and just stick to something very modern and minimalist. And uh, that's how it's gonna stay forever. So if you didn't see the old Big Ben, sorry for you, but this is how it is now, black tulle. I think we nailed that. I think we nailed the whole thing. Um, this whole area, this river walk area, is a super touristy area. I have a new rain jacket in case it rains because it's London. It's the first rain jacket I've ever owned. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, that's probably because you just don't like us and we wouldn't be your friend anyway, so I don't want you to subscribe. Uh, okay, bye.